A very good afternoon to you uh, anymore. Now looking at the week, uh, the boss ending in negative territory, down almost uh, 2%, but there were some stocks uh, that made some rather positive moves on that front. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Mashudu. We, we witnessed the market uh, coming off uh, the, the major part of this week. I think since Monday it was, it was uh, sliding downwards, except for Thursday, where it posted some, some, uh, some gains. But overall, the week uh, was, was pretty bad for the stocks. Uh, uh, however, we saw uh, individual counters like Celsius uh, managing to, to uh, gain up about 33% uh, for the week, uh, notably on the back of, uh, of the approval by the high court of that arrangement for, for Cambria to take over Celsius. Uh, we also saw fidelity going up about 10.6 percent on expectations that their earnings for the half year to 30 June uh, would be uh, at least 50 percent above what they earned last year. Looking at African Sun, it was also among the positive moves up 8.89 percent. Uh, talk us through why it's such a big move. Well, African Sun has been in the media recently on, on, on all the wrong reasons. Uh, they are a hotel operating company, but they lease uh, the premises that they use from Don Properties. And over a couple of months back, we saw Don Properties uh, filing a high court application to evict African Sun from their, from their pr properties on allegations that they were flouting uh, some, some lease agreements. However, we saw African Sun uh, getting into the market and buying uh, Don shares uh, of the market, and they've managed to show up their shareholding in, in, in their uh, landlord, as to say. And so they, they reached some agreement uh, last week uh, in which we, we, we are hoping that they won't be forced uh, to, to relinquish those hotel, hotels. So uh, that, 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 that movement has resulted in their share at least climbing back about 9% uh, during this week. We know that it's uh, results uh, season is in full swing uh, over there in Zimbabwe. I spoke uh, to one of the brokers earlier on in the week about uh, turn all holdings. But uh, FC, FBC holdings also out with ro some rather positive uh, results. Group interest income grew by uh, 54%. Uh, talk us through what you thought of those results. FBC holdings, yes. It's, it's also uh, uh, part on uh, tenor holdings, but the, the, the group overall managed to, to surpass expectations. Uh, their earnings were up by 40% uh, to 6.9 million, uh, far above what the market was expecting. Uh, the, the major contributor to that, those positive earnings was the banking arm, uh, which contributed more than 60% uh, of the PBT. Uh, apparently, the, the high interest uh, um, regime that is obtaining in the, in the market has been helping banks uh, to, 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 to get uh, positive income. Also, a uh, significant contribution from the microfinance, which is also playing in the SMEs, which is also quite uh, uh, heavy on the interest side. We also saw, saw some positive contributions from their uh, insurance arm, uh, we, which has, has been making losses prior, but has actually turned a, a new leaf and is now contributing positively to the bottom line. Looking at all these companies that have uh, reported uh, pretty good on the face of it, and like you say, with the if, uh, if BC, some positive results out of that company, is the market recognizing all these good results? Unfortunately, the market is sort of uh, not really reflecting the, 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 the earnings as such. Uh, it appears that they're, that they're not really uh, being reflected uh, in terms of price movements. Uh, the, the, the market has sort of uh, ended a phase where the, the, the investors uh, have sort of uh, laid back uh, owing to the numerous challenges that the market is facing, uh, most notably on the political side where we see there are some uh, challenges uh, on, on, on the politics of this country. Also, the liquidity side of things has not really improved. Uh, we actually saw our balance of payments for the first half widening uh, in the deficit area and also so our exports actually declining because the manufacturing sector is not uh, being able to produce and exporting. So the, the liquidity challenges in the politics has actually affected the market to such an extent that uh, the, the positive news is not really uh, getting that mileage as, 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 as expected. Well, that's where we have to leave it. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Any more, that was any more Taravinga. He's the equities analyst at Kingdom Financial Holdings.